Hello everyone, myself Srivali, working as an assistant professor in the Department of Cyber Security and Data Science in MLR Institute of Technology. Today, the overview of presentation includes Euler Path, Euler Circuit, What is Eulerian Graph, Hamiltonian Path, Hamiltonian Cycle and also Hamiltonian Graph. So, along with this, we also have here Planar and Non-Planar Graph and what is Euler's Formula, how to calculate it. So, let us see here. First of all, what is meant by Konigsberg bridge problem? First, before going to discuss about Euler path and Euler circle, first we need to understand how we got this Euler path and Euler circuit. So, Konigsberg, so it is a former name of a German city which is now in Russia. And if you observe here the river, this is the river Pregel. So, this is river Pregel which divides the city into four land areas and those names are land A, B, C, and D. This is A, this is B, this is C and this is D. So, there is a problem in that uh, at that particular time. What is that is here, Konigsberg bridge problem may be stated as starting from any of the four land areas. So, if you start from any of the land areas, is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once and come back to the starting point without swimming across the river? So, the thing here is, the problem here is, they used to have at that time, the people of the Konigsberg people, they used to have some point, some problem here. Starting from any of the land areas, so they have to, is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once? So, let us suppose here, let us suppose I am starting from land area B. Now, if I start from land area B, I want to travel to land area A. Now, again if I go like this bridge, again I will move to land area C. Now, if I go to like this, but I should not cross. So, if I go to like this here, again I will be coming from here. So, again I will be visiting to this one, that one. So, this land area to uh, land area D and C. But if you observe, the bridges are crossing here, so twice. So, that should not happen. That is what they have mentioned very clearly that starting from any of the four land areas, a, B, C, D. Is it possible to cross each of the seven bridges exactly once and come back to the starting point? So, here I have started from A, but I am ending with land area C. So, like this, if you start here, it is not possible. So, then what Euler has observed here is, Euler observed that when a vertex is visited during the process of tracing a graph, there must be one edge which enters into the vertex and there must be another edge which leaves the vertex. So, if this is the case, then we can able to solve this problem. Therefore, the order of the vertex must be always an even number. So, Euler found that not only those networks are traversable that have either no odd vertices or exactly two odd, two odd vertices. The thing here he have observed is, so whenever you are tracing the graph here, there must be one edge which is entering into that graph and again another edge which is leaving to the vertex. So, which is nothing but definitely it should have at least even number of the vertices that is nothing but no odd vertices should be there or at least two odd vertices exactly two odd vertices must have so this is how we have represented is here a to b b to d d to c and a to c a to b like this here it is represented now let us see what is meant by euler path so an euler path is defined as all edges must be traversed exactly once and all the vertices must be traversed at least once. So, the starting vertex need not be same as ending vertex. So, here uh, it is defined as all the edges must be traversed exactly once and all the vertices must be traversed at least once means it can be repeated, it just should not be repeated. So, the starting and a vertex need not be same as ending vertex. So, to get the Euler path, the degree of the all vertices must be even. So, whenever you are considering the vertices here, all the vertices degree must be even. So, to get the Euler path, the degree of all vertices must be even except two vertices whose degree is odd. So, to get the Euler path, we have to start from one of the odd degree vertex and path terminates at the other odd degree vertex. So, let us suppose here I have uh, 1, 1 to 0, so and 0 to 1, 1 to 4. 4 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. So, I have started from 0. So, 0 to 1, 1 to 4, 4 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4. The starting and ending are need not be same now. That is why we do not have. And if you see here, 
no uh, so if you observe no vertex is the vertex is repeated no edge is also repeated here so then i can say this is called euler path next we have euler circuit what is euler circuit is it defined as start from the vertex travel all the edges exactly once travel all the vertices at least once and come back to the starting point so what is the difference between the previous and here is there the first and last vertex need not be same but here it should be same means so whenever you start from one vertex again it has to come back to the same vertex so thus in a euler circuit starting vertex is equal to ending vertex so to get euler circuit degree of all vertices must be even only so here degree of all vertices must be even except those two degree two whose degree is odd which is nothing but exactly two odd degree vertices and the other all even but here all vertices degree of all vertices must be even only so now let let us observe here so if you take a e c d so a e c a e c so here what they have given euler circuit is a e c a f e d c b a so now if you observe a is repeating c is repeating e is repeating and even b is repeating all all the vertices are repeating here but the thing here is edges are not repeating so that is only here euler circuit and if you observe so just count the degree of all vertices whether we have even or not according to the concept so a so degree of a is 1 2 3 4 and degree of b is 1 2 so next we have c is equal to here 1 2 3 4 and d is having 2 e is having 1 2 3 4 f is having 2 so like this if you observe all the vertices of the degree are even only so that is why this is also called euler circuit so next if you observe here so we have few examples we have to find out which are euler path and euler circuit so now if you see here so this one here we have represented here is a to a to e e to f e to c and c to a and a to 4 a to b b to c c to f f to e e to d d to a so now where i have started here is a so this is nothing but so uh, starting and ending vertices are same this is called euler circuit so just observe here the degree of the vertices also a is having 1 2 3 4 b is having 2 c is having 4 e uh, f is having 2 e is having 4 d is also having 2 so all the degree of the vertices are even here that's why we can so we can say that this is called euler circuit so next we also have here a b c and this is d so now if you observe here so the degree of the vertices are a is having 2 so b is having a is having 2 here and b is having 2 and c so c is having here 3 d is having 2 b is having here 3 na so here 3 so if you observe here two vertices exactly two vertices are having degree odd and the other are having two so this one we can say that this is called euler path so this is called euler path now examples of euler path and euler circuit so here if you observe a to c a to c a to b b to d c to d g1 and this is called a to c uh so here what we have done is euler path and this these are examples of euler path and euler circuit and this here this one if you observe here so what this is euler path or euler circuit we have to verify so so here if you observe a is having the odd degree b is having even degree d is having odd degree and c is also having even degree which is nothing but this is called euler path so and now if you observe this one a is having 1 2 3 4 even degree so b is 2 d is 4 c is 2 so this is called 
Euler circuit. Means the same figure. I am just representing it in the form of Euler path or Euler circuit here. So by adding one more edge from A to D outside. So this is called this is Euler circuit example. Now what is meant by Eulerian graph? So a graph which contains Euler circuit is called Eulerian graph. So which contains Euler circuit? What is meant by Euler circuit? So which has all the degree vertices are even. So now if you observe here. A to B, B to C, C to E, E to D. So A is having degree two, B is two, C is having two, E to E is having two, D is also having two. So this is called and this particular graph we can call it as the Euler circuit graph. We can call it as here Eulerian graph. So next we have Hamiltonian path. So what is Hamiltonian path? Is a Hamiltonian path in a connected graph is defined as a path. The traverse each vertex of G exactly once. If there are n vertices in the graph, then the Hamiltonian path contains n minus one edges. So here, so this is a connected graph where it is defined as a path that traverses each vertex of G. So zero to one, one to three, three to two. So it is traversing exactly vertices as at once. And if there are n vertices, we have the graph should have n minus one edges. So how many vertices we have? One, two, three, four. But how many edges we have here? Only three. Four minus one is what? Three. So that is what here the Hamiltonian path. It should contain these conditions like how many vertices we have? Those many minus one edges we will have in the Hamiltonian. So next we also have Hamiltonian circle cycle. So Hamiltonian cycle is a Hamiltonian path where starting vertex is equal to ending vertex. So just like Euler path and Euler circuit here, Hamiltonian path and Hamiltonian cycle. So in Hamiltonian path, no need the starting and ending vertex must be same. But in Hamiltonian cycle, both should be same here. So that is Hamiltonian cycle is defined as traversing each vertex of the graph exactly once, and the terminating vertex is nothing but starting one. So here, if you observe, so how it is going here is so like this. So like this here it is going. So here if you observe, this is called Hamiltonian cycle. So now we will even we also have Hamiltonian graph. So if a graph contains Hamiltonian cycle, then it is called Hamiltonian graph. So here, so just like Eulerian graph, we have if it satisfies Eulerian circuit, it is called Hamiltonian Eulerian graph. In the same way, if it is uh, forming Hamiltonian uh, cycle, that is called Hamiltonian graph. So next we also have. Planar and non-planar graphs. So we already we have seen in the previous classes also what is planar graph. A graph which can be drawn so that all of the edges of the graph do not cross each other. So whichever the graph you are having, so whichever the edges we have, how many edges we have, so those edges should not cross each other. Then only we can say that it is a called planar graph. So this graph, if I can make this graph into without edges crossing, then I can say this is called planar. So the same graph here. Let us represent here A, B, C, D. Now, this what I am doing is as I have two diagonals. One diagonal I am drawing inside, and the other diagonal I am representing from outside. So that here I can able to draw this graph without edges crossing. This is called planar graph. So this is also called one planar graph. So if I have like this here, so A to D. So now here, here I have no. So A to D means like this. A to D. Now, if I have here uh, A to C also, so if I if I can able to draw this without edges crossing, then I can say it is a uh, planar graph. But it is not a planar graph. Why? Because it's not possible to draw here. See, let us suppose here A B C D. Now here A to C here I am drawing. So again here also A to C I am drawing as I have two. So now. If I take B to B, A to C also, D to B also, so I cannot able to draw this graph here without edges crossing. So this is not a planar graph here. So like this, I can represent here. Then what is non-planar? So which I cannot able to represent that particular graph without edges crossing. That is called non-planar graph. 
so a graph which connect that connect b drawn on a plane without cross over the between its edges that that is called non planar graph so next we also have euler's formula let g be a connected planar simple graph with e edges and v vertices so let r be the number of regions in planar representation of g then r is equal to e minus v plus 2 this is a formula that here so where we can able to find out by using this euler's formula that is r is equal to e minus v plus 2 so here so what i have done here is a to b b to c c to d d to e so here how i have calculated is e minus v plus 2 so what is e is number of edges so number of edges we have here is 9 so and number of vertices we have here is 6 so here 9 minus 6 plus 2 is equal to so 3 plus 2 is equal to total 5 regions it is possible for this particular graph so you may get doubt here how many edges we have is it 9 or correct only so here if you represent 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and this one 9 what is it we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 and so by this common number of vertices and edges i am going to get the region for this particular graph how many regions are possible here is 5 so let us check is the five regions we have or not 1 2 3 4 and the outer side one we can call it as other one so one counted total five we have so this is the correct answer so like this here we can find out the euler's formula also so what we have discussed today in the session is so what is euler path euler circuit hamiltonian path hamiltonian cycle what is eulerian graph what is hamiltonian graph also so and also we have discussed just uh, euler's formula how to calculate that what are planar graphs and non planar graphs so by this today we'll end the session thank you